In this video, I want to demonstrate how to create a simple data file to connect to Adobe InDesign to create a data merge. In this file, you can see it's set up like a simple address book. It has first name, last name, street address, city, state, zip, and then from a survey, let's say, color choice, their favorite color, blue or purple. And what I want to do is create a spot here to add in images to match the color choice as well as a sidebar to match their color choice. Now I want to point out a couple of things. First of all, I have their names separated first and last. I don't have them together because there are places I may want to use both their first and last name or there may be places where I only want to use their first name. At the end of this video I'll show you how you can separate these two if you have them combined in one name. Now notice also all my titles are in lowercase and they don't have any spaces or slashes they do have an underscore to separate words, but other than that, they're pretty basic. I like to keep my, my data very clean, so I always use lowercase letters, and I don't use any special characters outside of a dash or a hyphen. Now with this, it makes it easier to import your data into, data mer into InDesign and gives you fewer errors when you're doing it. Notice now I have all my data. I now need to add in a location for the images. If you are creating an image inside of or merging an image inside of your data merge, inside of our table here you need to put in the at sign. Now when you do this inside of Excel it actually gives you an error because it's looking at the at sign and it's trying to create a function. So what you need to do is put an apostrophe in front of the at sign and by putting the apostrophe in it then reads that just as text. Same thing as sidebar right here. I'm going to go ahead and put the apostrophe and then the at sign. I can go ahead and I have those two uh, with the at sign. Now I want to put in an image. I've previously created a Photoshop image called blue.psd and purple.psd. I want to put in all of these files here so they match the name based on the color choice. Now if I have hundreds or thousands of different options, it's going to take a long time to type in each one, look at it, and type in blue.psd. Uh, it's going to take a while. So instead what I'm going to do is type in equal sign concatenate, which basically means it's going to join two strings of text. And You can see it pops up when I start typing it, so I'm going to do concatenate. And the first text is going to be blue, or whatever is in this uh, location here in G2 and then I press comma so it's going to add that text with whatever I put now. Now I want to put in actual text so I'm going to put in quotations dot PSD and then close quotations what this is going to do is concatenate or join this with dot PSD and I'm going to close the parenthesis press enter and you can see it worked. Now the great thing about doing it this way is I can click inside that cell, choose the fill handle, click on the bottom corner of Excel, notice how I get a solid dark plus sign, and drag down. And it's automatically concatenated the color choice with the file type. Now my sidebar is a different type of file, it's an InDesign file, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Equals concatenate, and I'm going to choose the same location, G2, comma in quotes dot INDD for InDesign file close quotes and close parenthesis and you can see it's now created that file now when you're creating your images what makes it a lot easier is if you create your images and save them all in the same location where you're going to save your InDesign file at if you save all your images in the same location as the InDesign file this is all you have to do to create your uh, references to the images. But if you create your images in another location, you're going to have to do a little bit more. You're actually going to have to type out the location, uh, which is a little bit more cumbersome. Something like C colon slash uh, my document slash my photo slash blue dot INDD. So I strongly, strongly, strongly recommend making all of your images in the same location as your InDesign file. Now once you do this, you would save it as a text file or a tab delimited text file or a CSV file. Then you would, could bring it into InDesign. 
I'll do that in just one second. But first, I want to demonstrate. Let's say you have your name set up uh, so that the first and last name are together, as such as in this case, and you want to separate them out. Now, instead of having to go through and type out every single one, uh, there's a shortcut what you could do. First of all, you're going to notice that there's text after this one here. There's going to be an error that comes up. I'm going to demonstrate to you and show you how to how to do it without getting the error. So I'm going to select this column that has both the name first and last, and I'm going to click on my data tab up at the top, and then I'm going to click on text to columns. And this is going to allow me to separate the text, and I'm just going to keep that delimited. Now I make sure that I check space because I did put a space in there, and down below it's giving me a demonstration of where it's going to split the names. Sometimes you might have a comma uh, separating first and last name, but in this case I just have a space. So now I go ahead and hit next, and it's going to show me what it's doing. I'm going to hit finish, and it comes up with an error. Do you want to replace the contents of the destination field, uh, cells? What it's going to do is split this and erase whatever's here. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit cancel. All I have to do is come up to the next column of data, right click and I'm going to insert a column and notice how it spaces it out now I can go back to my last column and I'm going to go again to data text to columns and I'm going to uh, make sure space is selected I'm just going to hit finish and what it has done is it separated the first and the last name so then I could come in here and just call it first underscore name last underscore name and I have now separated my data so that I can work with each um, name first and last separately and not have to use them all. Now I'm going to delete these because they're not part of this file I just wanted to demonstrate a common error that I have seen people run into when doing data merge. To save this file as a CSV, a comma separated value file or to save it as a tab delimited text file all we have to do is go up to file save as and we'll just put it right there for now uh, and I'm going to change the save type to either a CSV or a text file but I'm going to do um, CSV right now comma delimited you go ahead and click on save and save it comes up with an error just because it's letting you know you can't have multiple worksheets or different things uh, there's certain functionalities inside of Excel that it doesn't work as a CSV, but that's okay. We're going to hit OK, and then it comes up with another error. We just hit yes. Now, the problem with doing this in Excel is every time you do it, every time you save the file, it always comes up. Are you sure you want to save it? And then it always comes up with the same error, so you just hit yes. Now, you could do this inside of Excel and then export it as a tab delimited text and then go in and edit it inside of Notepad uh, if that's easier whatever way works easier for you but this is a great way to set up your your data file so that you can merge it with uh, your InDesign and create customized designs for your clients without having to do it to each individual design it's a very powerful tool and I recommend you you experiment using it uh, see what you can do to customize your designs for your clients